much love for the whole world on a beautiful day. You're watching Hello Nigeria. You're watching Hello Nigeria. Dun da da da. Hello Nigeria. Sit back and relax. Over to our next and final story. Um, a suspected kidnapper, Abubakar Umar, has said that he and his colleagues collected over 200 million naira in ransom in the last six months. He stated that they preferred abducting expatriates from whom he had collected millions of naira in ransom. The suspect, who was paraded in Abuja on Wednesday alongside 37 other suspects, explained that he once collected 100 million cash in a kidnap operation. How does this make you feel? Hearing stories like this, what does this do? You know, it's sad to think of what it does to our reputation, reputation outside the country. Sad and very sad. Uh, I'll take you back a bit. Uh, one of the, in my, in my mind, one of the things that uh, propelled crime in this country is the fact that over the years we've had a history of rewarding criminals. Now, growing up as a child, uh, you were made, made to look up to probably the rich neighbor in quotes who probably works in SPDC. So they say, ah, go, go into the sciences, become an engineer, you get, get a job in Shell. At the time, it was the banking sector. Oh, graduate from school, join a bank, and you become rich. Now, in the last 20 years, we found situations where uh, we hear of a name, A, X, Y, Z. He's a militant, and after a while, the government came, amnesty, patronized them, and became the big boys of the society. Now, people have not seen value from, for, for, for crime. So, Mr. A tells himself, maybe if I do well enough, perpetuate my crime well enough, give me some prominence, the government will give me some recognition. Maybe in time for elections, I will be used. Now we have a system that have rewarded and for all these criminal activities. So uh, everybody wants to give, you, give it a, sh a shot. Maybe if I try hard enough, pull one or two big stunts, I probably will get rewarded, maybe amnesty or something. Now, this is what has obviously, it's, it's for the value chain. Now we now have a mentorship structure that people, they look up to these people as the prominent men in the society, and they want to be like them. So it's, 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 it's quite deep. And it's become, a, it's become a trade, you know. Now in yeah. Nigeria, you have to be careful. You can't just travel by road to certain parts of the country Very because true. you're hearing incidences of kidnap. And I don't know if much is being done about it because it does seem like we have an ostrich in the sand approach. We keep thinking it's not here, it's not coming here, you know, until it's happened to a close family member or a relative. Mm, that's, that's when it dawns on us that it's actually here. The thing about crime is that it's, it's a local business. Um, Somebody from Portacourt will not come and rob on an Ateneum. It has to be somebody from the neighborhood who knows this. And same thing about the kidnapping thing. Everywhere there is a kidnap, the locals are always involved. So it's important that in trying to cop this, you get the locals involved. Like, you know, the incidents that have been happening on the East West Road in Portacourt, around the Portacourt, as they say, oh, a full bus was kidnapped. How do you kidnap a full bus of 18 passengers? and walk them through a path without a farmer, a palm white tapper, some neighbors, you know, people around seeing what's happening. It's because the society have, been, have, have condoned them, and that's why it's been flourishing. So a way out is to, you know, it's community policing. You know, uh, some months back, I took a drive somewhere in River State, and I had a person was speaking with a member of the local village, Antley, and he told me his experience. Yeah. They, it, it's, it's the locals that can cope this crime, either as, uh, doing the policing themselves or providing information to the security. This is why a lot of people have advocated for state policing and community policing. Community policing, well. yeah. Yes. Well, yeah. thank you so much for joining us uh, on this segment. We've been speaking with Darlington Ofekeze, principal partner, partner Onyx and Briggs, and we've analyzed the stories happening in the news. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.